Hi everybody! How are you? I hope well. Today I have a very requested video. Um, I'm doing my Charlotte Tilbury collection and that's gonna be probably a long video. I'm just go, gonna go through what I've got from Charlotte Tilbury and uh, let you know my top picks. Uh, what products are must in this collection. Uh, as you know, I have a big uh, collection of Charlotte Tilbury because I love her products. I haven't purchased all these products at once. I have purchased them over the years and um, as a Christmas presents or a birthday presents from my family or other purchase myself. So let's get started without further ado because I have a ton. Now, firstly, I'm going to start guys with the packaging that looks like that. Charlotte Tilbury packaging is beautiful. It's that burgundy. Uh, color with the rose gold and her initials here. I really like attention to detail. So that's that's beautiful Then I have her makeup bag that looks like that and it has um, the lips of uh, famous uh, women and on the back says uh, Give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world fits quite a big stuff. I like it but because it's like material and base from outside I think it gets stained a little bit, you know, easier. So bear that in mind for that. Let's start with some of her skincare. Is the Goddess Skin Clay Mask that looks like that. Visibly lifts, smooths, brightens and tightens pores for baby skin. Um, I love this product and it's uh, like a clay mask. You put it on a clean, dry skin. You let it on for 20-30 minutes. You remove it with water and a warm towel and it makes your skin beautifully. I use that once a week. I really love that product and I highly recommend it. Multi Miracle Glow Cleanser Mask and Balm for Baby Soft Skin and looks like that. And it's that con consistency. I don't know if you're able to tell. And it's very soft and it spreads easily. When I use my Clarisonic, which I use it three times a week, at night or after I remove my makeup on a dry skin, I will put some of that and I will work it with a Clarisonic as my cleanser. Or I would use it as a mask and on again clean, clean dry skin I will put it on leave it for maybe 30 minutes and rinse it and that's beautiful either as a cleanser either as a mask it works really well and it keeps your uh, skin very moisturized so I highly recommend that the magic eye rescue that looks like that it's like that and um, uh, it's an eye cream now um, this product guys as you know it didn't work for me um, it's a good eye cream, but um, for me, I didn't see results and they didn't work for my skin. So I wouldn't repurchase that, but um, let me know if that product will work for you because I would like to know. Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash and that is like, it looks like that and it's a soft focus primer and it gives you that shine, but without the glitter. Uh, this product I really like. Um, it's uh, like a primer that gives you that glow and um, it's uh, like you know minimizes your pores and um, it just like hides like fine lines it's beautiful and um, I highly recommend for, for you to try this product and I believe Charlotte calls it Giselle in a jar and I will agree about that a light wonder youth boosting perfect skin foundation with SPF 15 that looks like that and I've got mine in shade 4 Fair for summer. You have to check that product. Um, I would say the coverage is light and it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer but on steroids kind of thing. And um, it's, it gives your skin glowy but it's very thin and invisible in your skin. I'm wearing it on my face today with a Wonder Glow as well. And uh, I like it. For a day that I don't want that full coverage, I like that it's very light in your skin and it does blur its imperfections. And one thing I really like about that is the packaging. It's a plastic and it's very travel friendly. And you get here 40 ml, 1.4 fluent ounces, and it's made in Italy. So, very magic foundation. And that has a broad spectrum SPF 15. It looks like that. That has a pump. This, I believe, took Charlotte five years in the making. And it's her, like, um, full coverage foundation. For me, I would say it's a medium coverage foundation. But it's very light. I really love this product and probably I like it more than a light wonder. That has the medium coverage which is buildable and it leaves your skin like skin. It's very thin, it goes on smooth 
and that actually doesn't have the glow that this foundation has it has more of a satiny finish and you get 30 ml 1.0 fluid ounces but bear in mind that that is in a glass bottle um, but uh, so far I really enjoy this foundation I would highly recommend it airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder that uh, the packaging looks like that and as you see it's very well loved it's beautiful powder uh, what can I say I use it a lot it's very light um, one thing I like that guys if you have fine lines or large pores uh, that actually uh, it doesn't make them as visible so it kind of like blurs pores and fine lines and it's very finely milled so I really like the smoothness and how satiny that powder is uh, I really love to use that with a light wonder foundation and it doesn't take the glow and it gives me more of a medium coverage if you know what I mean I have it on my face today and as you see I'm still like you know very glowy so I highly recommend that product as well I am really loving it so the retoucher conceal and treat stick that looks like that it comes with a brush you twisted it here and I have mine in shade 2 the idea be behind of that it's to be like um, the magic retoucher that the photographers have to retouch you know the photographs so you know it's supposed not to um, settle in the fine lines and give some coverage and also it brightens uh, the under eye area I like that product um, but I don't think I will repurchase because um, I discovered another product of hers which I like more it's okay um, it's not a full coverage concealer if you're thinking of that it has some coverage though and I don't know about settling in the fine lines I think it does a little bit mini miracle I want that looks like that it has a lifting eye cream in one side and eye brightener illuminate soft focus on the other side so you twist that here like that and it's a clear eye cream so you pat it first that and then you have an eye brightener so you twist it again and you have like a, an eye brightener so i really love this product and again this is not like a full coverage concealer if you get for that this is not it it's like a light refle uh, reflector with a bit of a slightly bit of coverage i wouldn't use that in pimples or somewhere else or if i have a scar but i use it in the inner corners and slightly underneath the eyes so it can give me that bright effect so i really love that product and i like it i believe more than the retoucher Film Star Bronze and Glow that looks like that and has a beautiful mirror. The packaging is adorable, and I have mine in shade one, the light shade. And guys, that is a beautiful product. It has a bronzer uh, slash contour, I would say. Um, it's not completely matte, it has a satin finish, but it's beautiful color highlighter, which is as you see, I use it a lot. Is that champagne color? So this is the bronzer, this is the highlight. It gives you that beautiful beautiful glow i will highly recommend you to check that out it's a beautiful product and it goes a long way for a bar of gold that looks like that and that looks like a bar of gold uh, that is more like white gold highlighter look like that this is a bar of gold this is film star bronzer glow i like this product is beautiful but i would prefer this one because it has the bronzer as well so yes five of her eyeshadow palettes her eyeshadow palettes guys look like that they're beautiful i love her eyeshadows um it's one of my top favorite eyeshadows they blend well they're like very pigmented you don't have like fallout underneath the eye and they're true to color and also the glittery and matte shades perform very well really love that it has like a very small compacted that they don't include the brush to be honest guys i don't need the brush these little brushes that some eyeshadow palettes use because i use my own brushes it's the vintage vamp which is really beautiful this one is the dolce vita which i'm wearing on my eyes today and i believe the dolce vita is charlotte tilbury's favorite the dolce vita i'm wearing today but uh the rock chic which is one of my favorites as well very like a gray silvery beautifulness and i love that they include a glitter shade as well if you want to get the intensity of the glitter just pat it with your fingers i really love the rock check as well now i've got the sophisticated which is matte to satin 
that is beautiful as well for an everyday look go to the office or if you want that like you know very natural look fallen angel which was a limited edition so it has the packaging with the stars yeah, i believe you can still find that the fallen angel guys it's beautiful as well i do have swatches all for all of these guys my top favorites are the dolce vita and the rock chick they're bomb it's the nocturnal cut eyes to hypnotize and i got mine in midnight seduction and that's their single eyeshadow it comes again with a little bit of a mirror and it's that blue color midnight blue and it has like a shot of black and when you go and look in under a light it's supposed to just twinkle your eyes twinkle in the light i liked it um you know it was okay product but i love her eyeshadow palettes more to be honest her color chameleon sticks that look like that her color chameleon sticks they're supposed to be like a um, a cream stick eyeshadow on the go and if you're like in a hard just pop it in blend it your fingertips and you have that complete eyeshadow look now i've got mine in intoxicated violet which is a purplish color that looks like that amber haze it's more like an ambery copper color in dark pearl more a taupey color and in champagne diamonds a shimmery champagne color now these products guys although it stays a long time in your eyelids and doesn't budge it's very hard to apply i find it's not as emollient so i do like the staying power but i would prefer it to be more emollient so i wouldn't really recommend that product to be honest because you find more affordable eye eyeshadow sticks uh, and in a less um, price point eyes to mesmerize um cream eyeshadow pots that they look like that and that is like a cream eyeshadow you just pop it in your eye you blend it and you're good to go and it's very very creamy as you see here so that product guys it's one of my favorites i have mine in bed eyes which is my top pick it's that golden coppery color in marie antoinette which is more like a oyster like toy light beautiful color that's a dupe to tom ford platinum if you don't have and you can't find tom ford platinum and you want to pick something up this is marie antoinette mine in cleopatra cleopatra is that um, teal beautiful color and this is cleopatra gorgeous guys this is a must uh, rock and call iconing liquid eye pencil and this is her eyeliners and um, i have mine in bedroom black which is classic black color marlene midnight which is more like a bluish like indigo color as you see with a hint a hint of purple in sapphire sex the sapphire sex it's more blue than the uh, this is the sapphire sex and the marlene midnight and the bedroom black the sapphire sex came uh with the nocturnal cut eyes the eye cheat which is the beige the base looks like that they're very easy to put them on uh, they're not my favorite eyeliner in the world but uh they do have a decent staying power so um, uh, I would say, yeah, they're, they're, they're okay. Liquid eyeliner, Feline Flick shadow pen that looks like that and has a felt tip. And as you see, right, this is her only liquid eyeliner that she's got. And that product is okay. Um, it does stay a long time, but it's not my favorite liquid eyeliner. I really like the Kat Von D more and the Tom Ford pen eyeliner pen. So it's okay. I've got her big sticks and that is um you know that like a nurse multiple it's just a stick that you can use it as uh, your um uh, blush or you can use it as your lipstick or you can put it in your eyelids too um and I've got mine in moon beads which is that peachy color with the uh, gold undertones and in Ibiza which is more like a bronzy contouring shade i would say more like a bronzy shade because it has some simmer i would say they perform better on the cheeks than on the lips so i wouldn't say that they perform the same lip and cheeks as a cheek product i like it as a lip product no 
So I would say they perform better as a cream blush. Got guys her blushes and I have, I'm gonna have four of her blushes. Her blushes are amazing. They come in a packaging like that. They have a big mirror. And as you see, they have a lighter color outside and a darker color inside. And the purpose of that is like you swiss your um, uh, brush and pop. I love her blushes and I highly encourage you to try those because they're amazing. One thing I like about these blushes, guys, you know, with the most of the blushes, you put them on, by the end of the day, you can't see any blush there. Not with these. With these, you can see blush. So it stays on. And today I'm wearing the blush in ecstasy because I'm wearing all the Dolce Vita look. And this is the first love. One of my top favorite blushes is that Tony Nude. Next one I've got in ecstasy, the one I'm wearing today. And this is more like, kind of like Nars Orgasm Peachy uh, Rose Gold color. The Love Glow. Love Glow is one of my favorites with First Love. It's a subtle pink glow on your cheeks. It's very, very youthful. If you want to look younger and the look of youth, try this one, the Love Glow. And then I've got Sex on Fire. It's more like that tawny... Um, like dusty rose color and this one like the middle color it reminds me a little bit of Narcin the performance so a very good color for autumn or, uh, or winter and my top picks are um first love and love glow their pencil sharpener which i got in one of her packages it's it's a good person sharpener it's okay i wouldn't so encourage you to try it if you have the money it's okay if you don't there are more affordable options in the market two years ago maybe it's two and a half i don't remember exactly i got one of her collections that called the future vintage collection and that collection it had a beautiful card that says love from charlotte tilbury and the number of the uh, batch that i got which is the number 16 i really love that because you know i have like something from charlotte tilbury so it's that future vintage the collector's edition collection so i really love that card and i still keep it because hey i love charlotte tilbury right so i really like that i have five of her kissing uh, original lipsticks and five of her matte lipsticks so uh, in a packaging that looks like that a rose gold they're beautiful they look like perform like mac lipsticks but better they stay a long time they taste like vanilla they have a beautiful scent and i have mine in nude kate confession tony so merlin classic penelope pink which is beautiful Coachella coral and i have a video guys where i try all these on and then I've got the Matte Revolution lipsticks, which are amazing. And they come in that square tip bullet, which makes the application very easily to apply. Very comfortable with the lips. And I really encourage you to try those. They're very hydrating, but they're matte at the same time. And the color payoff is beautiful. That is Bond Girl, which I'm wearing today. 9075 red, very fiery red, as you see here. Sexy Sienna, very corally for summertime beautifulness red carpet red lost cherry beautiful one of my favorites i also really like the bone girl i'm wearing today lip liners uh which um it says lip cheat a reshape and resize lip liners and i have mine in three colors the first one is the iconic nude which i really like and i wear with a nude kate lipsticks lipstick and it's that beautiful like kind of like tony brownie nude then i've got one of my top favorites the pillow talk which is like your lips but better and i believe um that is the most popular color and uh, the kiss and tell which is that standard like a red for a red lip color as you see here very beautiful um lip liners and my favorite shade is pillow talk pillow talk is the bomb lip lighters with hair like lip lighters lip lusters hair lip glosses basically i like them but they're not my favorite uh lip gloss out there so um i don't know uh they are not sticky non tacky um they do stay well as a lip gloss uh they do have beautiful color payoff uh but i think they're like quite small a size in bardo base in blondie more like peachy pink 
and Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which I have now in the middle here. Uh, Portobello Girl, like a pink corally color. Probably my top pick of that is this one, which is Red Vixen. This Red Vixen, guys, it's, it's very opaque and shiny at the same time. Don't know how, but it is. It's beautiful. That's all guys. Um, I hope you like this video. And the reason I made this video again, it's just to point out my top picks of her line, what I really, really love. Thank you so much for your comments and your support. I really love you guys. Bye.